Building, 1940. Oil on wood. A majority of Chen's oil landscape paintings were made on horizontal canvas. One of the reasons for this is that he preferred to take a bird's eye view of the entire scene and then enlarge the foreground in order to bring the scene closer to the viewer. At the time, he liked to get the horizontal line deeper and further in order to include as much of the landscape as possible into the picture. Vertical canvases, like this one, were more suitable for portraying figures or tall buildings. Such was the case in the portrayal of the Dan Shui Church. The building is of Gothic-style architecture with pointed arches, colorful glass windows, and a hundred-year-old bell. Unlike the way he used the color green to depict landscapes, Mr. Chen painted the leaves of the tree in golden yellow, with some lemon yellow to embellish them. However, the reddish-orange color of the architecture dominates the view. The trunk and the branches of the tree just in front of the building are drawn in the Chinese Shui Mo painting method, while the leaves are drawn in Western Impressionistic brushstroke method. The combination of the two add to strengthen the painting. However, a man and a child are depicted walking alongside an adjacent building, which means that Mr. Chen remains focused on the detailed aspects of his paintings while being bold in the other parts. This painting was done on a very small size 4 piece of wood and was painted without any revisions, which is quite remarkable. The straight, sharply pointed bell tower displays the vertical part of the composition, while part of the main part of the building displays the horizontal. The inner space of the upper stairs and the corridor downstairs are presented in gray, which is in strong contrast to the red and visually provides us with a clear sense of depth in this work. Among Chen Chen Po's numerous landscapes, his Dan Shui scenes number the second most behind that of his hometown of Jiayi City. In total, there are 11 pieces centered on Dan Shui. The paintings of Dan Shui always sold for large sums abroad. Dan Shui was one of the places in Taiwan that had been more developed in early times. Dan Shui, with its beautiful terrain and location at the mouth of Dan Shui River and below Temple Hill, was one of the most favored places for painting, in part because of the many western-style structures which remained after the rules of Spain, Holland, and England. <laughs>